Hey, this is Tim Haller, and just doing uh, another video um, in this series of uh, anger from the law of attraction. And I've just finished a meditation, and um, I've had a couple of insights today, and uh, one of them I mentioned in the previous video, which was um, repressing emotions and repressing anger and uh, it's something I realize I'm doing and have been for a long time and uh, um, expressing that anger when it when it comes is pretty important really I mean obviously there's, there's times when it's more appropriate and then it's less appropriate um, but as you go through the school system and employment and I think you you learn to just repress uh, emotions as they come to the surface because it's inappropriate to express them um, and maybe that's normal but also if they're very strong emotions if if you're um, if you're pressing them too much um, you can really damage yourself and this can build into what Eckhart Tolle calls the pain body um, so then you're this sort of <laughs> frustrated bundle of, of angry energy which if someone bumps into you then they get all that previous uh, anger from all those uh, unresolved conflicts and all those open loops and all those little repressed moments of anger uh, that didn't come out um, so I definitely know I, I do that I um, I, and then I carry around stuff and then the universe shows me somehow by throwing something at me um, and uh, so what what came to me in this meditation just now was um, in terms of uh, wanting uh, if you want something but you're you're not allowing yourself to have it uh, this can be for a number of reasons and one of them I picked up on was could be a, a belief it could be based on something you picked up in school it could be based on religion and uh, thou shalt not want is is uh, one of the Ten Commandments I think and uh, so that's got drummed into my head but at the same time I, I do want stuff I want a you know a, a different life I want to grow and change and I want to um, want to make more money um, so if there's a conflict inside then it's not going to be uh, very conducive to taking the right actions and doing the right things because you don't believe you you don't believe you you should so you can see other people having things and, and being successful but you don't allow yourself to go after those things because of uh, this inner belief that may be an unconscious belief um, that's perpetuating a certain certain lifestyle so um, yeah that was it for today really just wanted to talk about those things also just want to show you this which is my uh, meditation stool which I think is really cool uh, and uh, I've had this for a while and, and not actually I picked this up on eBay and not actually used it um, but since I've got into the meditation again um, I just feel so much clearer um, and the uh, the awareness that I, 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 I find from the meditation is going into my daily life as well and I'm noticing things and uh, whereas previously I was a little bit more unconscious of things um, so yeah definitely recommend that I would start off just doing five minutes or something just to make it a habit check out mini habits as well um, I forget the name of the author um, but a really good book for starting new habits that's all for today um, I'll see you on my next video bye for now